Hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. So, we are heading out. Uh, a big journey. And uh, we're kind of ready, I, I believe. And also, I have skill points to spend. And it would be tempting to just save it until we uh, fail a skill check. And just uh, put it into whatever we failed. But I don't necessarily want to do that. <clears throat> so, I believe we have two options. Either I invest it into support skills that help me like medical is not really something that get checked often or uh from what i've seen has a uh, high checks science doesn't really get checked so i think 50 is like good enough engineering sometimes i get checked but it's uh pretty much boosted right now lockpick seems to be doing fine with 62 uh because of the boost with parvati uh, sneak is not something that gets checked at all. <clears throat> well, unless we are sticking around. Also, it increases the sneak attack damage. Uh, which is cool. Uh, hack uh, does come up from time to time, but it sometimes competes with lockpick. So, yeah, with the per persuasion, like, these skills are kind of decent too. So, it kind of comes down to, like, do we want to, like, go for, like, maybe, like, uh, a little bit of hacking, persuasion, or we go for uh, damage. And I, I looked into long guns, and we can, like, look at that. Like, we can pump up a long gun skill, and it seems like, oh, yeah, look at that. The crit goes up a little bit. It's, it's, it's kind of good. And we can also uh, up the companion health. <clears throat> we can up it by 100 at this point, which is not super impressive, uh, because the health is uh, currently... Uh, 2400 so like, it's it's basically like four ish four five percent so that's not super good but what's like stupidly good is companion damage bonus from inspiration is 94 percent right now but if i temp if i put 10 points into it it goes into 124 which is crazy also when companions kill an enemy the player gains critical the party gains critical chance for 20, uh, yeah, 20% 20 for 5 seconds, which is again crazy. So if we get that, which undoubtedly we will, yeah, we just get so much stronger. Like, this also increases my DPS. Everybody's DPS. It's just, it's just, and this is flat critical chance. This is not flat critical chance. This, this, it, this uh, boosts the flat, flat critical chance. So this come on top of the 20%. So if you get like 20% here, that means 20% uh, of the 20%, so 4%. <clears throat> this is just 20%. Plus, of course, they deal 30% more damage, which is just... I don't know. This game is built for companions. I feel like I, I, I'm just... Honestly, it just feels like I am escorting Parvati. I, I'm just here to maybe throw some jokes uh provide some emotional support you know just be be a good captain it just truly feels like teamwork i feel like i'm the like the the tech guy of the group kind of i'm the problem solver i'm the i'm the face of the group but i'm definitely not the muscle <clears throat> so let's go Terra! Terra 1. Do you ever worry all that ammo in your berth might combust? What? Wait, that's... It can do that? All it takes is a little bit of black powder next to a lot of bits of fertilizer and one real hot day and... I've seen it happen. I don't know what's more unsettling. Get some! Kill them all! Marauder, get shot in the face! Can you guys just stay back? I'm going. Don't die. guys coming back so putting points into better Wait, combat is certainly justified I don't know what's more unsettling 
The concept of my ammunition spontaneously combusting or the fact that this is the kind of thing you think about on the regular. <laughs> I love it though. The trick is to know all the shit and still... Hmm, that's sneak. Uh, no, that's only sneak. That's not stealth. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Stealth also includes uh, sneak, but it also includes lockpick, so that would be interesting. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Amber Heights, and Stellar Bay. Of course, go back. Uh, that's where Cascadia is, but I already uh, explored that. <clears throat> Devil Speak. Uh, that's not where we are heading. We are heading toward Amber Heights. We're just gonna stay on the road. Yeah, just stay on the road. So many exploded barrels. These guys are tanky. Right, here we go. I need to change my weapon. Stay there, okay? No need to go in way too much. Master Lookout. That guy's super pinned down. What? Only 65? How armored he is. Drop their guns. Trip Blade Mark II. I wonder if I should give my companions better melee weapons. Um, maybe we can sell that as well, so we don't have to destroy it. They seem to be doing fine. Cobbled exosuit. Uh, I already have one of these. We don't need it. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Ember Heights, and Stellar Bay. Nothing over there. It's a little far away. Oh shit. Well, Slam Dunk it. Look at that shit. Oh, that. What, what? Kill it! Oh! Yeah, that slug really died. Was it even slug? No, that was a raptodon, but it, it lost its head and all limbs. He was having a really bad day. Companions just walk up to them with miniguns. And I'm hiding in the cover. The enemies are hiding in the cover. Nothing like a good tussle. But anyone who's caught out, or just anyone who gets seen, is dead. Yeah, inspiration is good. Assault Rifle Ultra. Oh, I, I I can't help but feel that we're kind of getting to the point in the game that uh, maybe these are the end game weapons. Like it's ultra. Is it gonna be like ultra plus or what? 
I don't know what's the max level here. We still have uh, a lot of uh, planets to discover. I really hope that even if the game is, even if the the weapons are capped, uh, the level is not. So not like you reach like I don't know, like twenty, and after that you can't level anymore. You can just keep going, even if uh, even the weapons are not get not getting any stronger, which would be a bit of a bummer. So. So, Monarch, Stellar Bay, Ember Heights, Fallbrook, and Cascadia. I like, it's no way it's 20. Like, it, it's gotta be like 30 at least. Because the perks. But it does seem like it's gonna be uh, limited after one point. Because they're, they're here are the f tier 3 perks. I don't know. It's, it's a little unclear. Because you need to reach at least... Uh, Level, I assume level 20 to reach the tier 3 perks, but apparently you can get extra perks. A one I rejected. But yeah, tier 3 perks. I suspect the game is not going to be much longer than level 30. So. But uh, it's very possible that the levels will just slow down a little bit. Can I shoot? I can shoot. Why not? Wow. What the Great hell? Work. They get destroyed. The enemy killed. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. Wow. We are progressing a lot slower than I expected. I well, can get, go in there and Anybody at home? Oi! I'm here! Oh shit. Pick up riot control armor. I just anything that's not Rezo is trash, apparently. I can sleep here. Do I want to? Actually it's getting actually I'm sleepy. So why not? Unless there's a chance that I get attacked. Let's sleep. Oh pff, six hours. Be fine. Uh, leaves me a little thirsty, but that's not a problem. A uh, lot of water and eat an apple. There you go. Mm. Mm, so I can go this way into the cave. And maybe there is some secret special loot here. Is it? It's unclear. Restricted access, authorized personnel only. I'm not sure if uh, there's a quest leading here. I don't think so. This is pretty small. Unless this is a. Uh, a load area door. Pulse hammer. Maybe if someone is good at melee, this is a good hammer. I don't know, because I'm really bad at melee. It just seems like all melee weapons suck. What's up with this terminal? <laughs> Please wait while the system recalibrates its gas sensors. Calibration progress 004. Estimated time to completion 341 days. Okay. 
So it got started very recently. Making it look easy. Uh, let's destroy that. Plasma launcher, I guess we can sell it. Yeah, I feel like I'm like the thief of the group. Slash. Well, it's not really a D&D equivalent here. I believe. I'm in! Okay, so seems like this is going to be probably some kind of quest area. But, uh, not now. So we're just gonna stay on the road. And it's it's quite the journey. Uh, by the way, the mod I installed also gives me access to fast travel. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna use that. Maybe we're gonna use that, just to cut down on the... Uh, needless travel. I can't shoot. What the fuck? Oh. What am I doing wrong? It's not firing. What's wrong? Oh shit, it's broke. Broken. 20 DPS. Condition zero. <laughs> Repair equipment. 32 parts. Fuck me. Oh shit. Hey, who looking guy? So that kind of explains why it was dealing so little damage. Body. Oh man. Everyone all right? That guy didn't want to get sniped. <laughs> they have nothing. Auto mech pistol, total garbage. Actually, that would be uh, nice to sell. But it was it was total garbage when it comes to using it, but it actually worth something, so. Cascadia, Fallbrook, Ember Heights, Stalo Bay. Uh yeah, these road signs are are all over the place. But I'm not getting any closer. <laughs> Well, we're getting closer, but like, not getting close as fast as I hoped. Oh crap. A robot and a marauder ringleader. Sure. Okay. You guys just hide out. there. Take the stove. What you got? Hunting Rifle Ultra. Yeah, that's what I'm using. We're pretty strong now. Yeah, I guess I'll take your ammo. So many marauders. Regular people are hiding behind the walls, but the marauders, they're totally fine. Flame prover. Also bell armed. Ah, my leg. Okay, wow. So damn far away. And also, we can't go this way. Can we go this way? Maybe we can go that way. 
We see uh, two settlements here, three settlements. Maybe I this might not be a settlement. Also, this looks uh, very odd. But we see it over here as well. Hmm. Very unlikely to be rocks. Amber Heights, we finally got here. Some mushrooms. Energy cell. I'm not even using that. Ultimately, you can use any type of weapon. We find a good variety. Heavy weapons are the best when you want DPS. But they're not uh, very ammo efficient. Right, control helmet. Also, like, early game, but that's not su super relevant. Early game, you don't really start with it. You only get access to it a little bit later. <clears throat> Also, you don't have access to a lot of uh, heavy weapons. Flame thrower. Yep. Heavy weapons deal the most damage. But not very efficient. Alright, let's get inside. Let's save first. Out of the nature! What? Oh. Whew! Come on! We got like a mini edge water here. This place is huge! Okay, uh, I guess I'll be using my light assault rifle. Well, hello! And welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. What? In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Who are the Iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. I already know that you're a crazy person because of your hat. Uh, no problems. What about raptodons or marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. One big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. I see. But if I don't have daddy issues? I guess, uh, where can I find them? Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Uh, why are you here and not Stutter Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor. Something about rising from the ashes. Sounds like he's feeding you bullshit. And you think it's kind of matters. Got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? Last name Tucker, first name Dick. Dick Tucker. You know him? The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Thanks for that. <clears throat> Bronson. This Revolutionary. Board approved. Halcyon. Any good stuff here? Okay. No. That's terrible. Light machine gun is good. But I already got one. 
Should I just use the life machine gun myself? I don't want to buy it from the vending machine. Okay, that, that's decent armor that we can buy here. Level 21. 53 helmets. I might just buy this. Let's just buy a helmet. Oh, that's decent. So, are you the mechanic around here? Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Does, does everyone uh, wear those stupid hats here? Uh, I'm Lights. You run a store out here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster. And a chef. And a handyman. And whatever else we need. Right. You're a chef. Cooking's my true passion. You need a wrap the dawn to taste good? Bring it here, and I'll work a miracle or two. By miracle, he means salt. He adds salt and calls it cuisine. Hey, don't go spilling my secrets. You're just mad we cut you off. Lady's got a right to drink, damn you. You be careful. Don't let this one near your medical supplies. She ain't picky as to the difference between pure alcohol and distilled spirits. I just trade. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Uh, just seems bad. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why the DPS seems so low. They're not giving me the best stuff, like Iconoclast Assault Rifle, which is just worse than a regular Assault Rifle. Very cool stuff. What else you guys got? Uh, they might have a uh, gear that... Uh, these are just weapons. I mean, uh, these are just armor. I'm not really looking for... The only problem with this armor is that it, it cannot be enhanced. I don't really care much about that. Carrying capacity, armor. Eh. I'm not that desperate for carry capacity. Mm. We can zoom in a little bit. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. <clears throat> I know. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. I don't doubt the the intention of maybe, maybe like uh, I I don't know this place. The girl who greeted us seemed genuinely. Uh, how should I say it? Stout skills. Uh, seemed genuinely uh, good-hearted. Hey, that's impressive. And, uh, but I'm kind of concerned that uh, she's uh, getting taken advantage of. What you got? Hitting is not a, gonna take a huge part of the game. Because usually you just can't use that. I can break it down in his inventory. You got trash stuff. I'm gonna break your armor. Repair the terminals, storage device. Storage capacity increase. Locks prior to the most recent four entries are unretrievable, but new entries may be saved. Dear diary. Wow. <clears throat> okay, this could tell us about this colony. Graham taught me how to meditate today. You close your eyes and you breathe in real deep and try not to cough. Then you just listen to yourself. You know how sometimes you'll be hiding from a mantic queen and you're trying to be quiet so you focus real hard on your breathing and you can hear your heartbeat and you think how can this mantic queen not even hear me. And all of a sudden you have to squeeze and it reminds you of that time when you were coming back the delivery and as you were putting it on 
Zora's stable, you squeezed and it slipped and a bunch of things broke. Very specific example. Meditating is like that, only you're supposed to think of these things on purpose. Graham calls it, I don't remember what he calls it, wreck or something. He says it's your own eternal truth bubbling up to the surface that things you remember are what you're supposed to focus on and try to improve. When we meditated, I mostly remembered that sitting on rock hurts. Maybe I'm supposed to toughen up my tailbone. <laughs> yeah. Zora's really smart, but you know what sometimes she can be such a bitch. I was supposed to get some info from for her from Cas Cascadia, but I couldn't find a way over without going through marauders. So I gave up and stopped in at Fallbrook to pick up some supplies instead. While I was there, Chastity dropped in for a few games of Vist. She's cool, she's always playing games. When I lose bets, I get really upset. I don't have much, so losing what I have hurts. You know? But Chastity can drop thousands on a single game and she's fine. Well, sometimes she drinks a bit and slams at the table and storms out, but still. Mostly she's cool about it, and I admire that. Anyway, when I got back, Zora yelled at me because I was a little late. Something about medicine not getting he here fast enough. Ah, Graham just said, try not to lose track of time on my next run, and I promised I would. See, that's how you teach someone. I'm gonna yell and make them feel bad. Actually, the best way to teach someone is to encourage them when they do good stuff. You know, it's it's pointless too. Like you know, like if I was, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go go into this, but like that that's how you do it. Encourage them to do good stuff. Like reward them for do good, good, doing good stuff. They should feel good for doing uh, stuff that uh, uh, benefits them. If they're just punished for not doing the stuff they they maybe should have done. Or could have done. Uh, that's just that's just a little pointless. That doesn't build uh, passion and love for uh, whatever they they should be doing. Of course, this doesn't really apply for everything. Sometimes just limiting how much you do it uh, can be a big uh, difference between. Uh, making it feel like work or just uh, making it feel just okay or maybe even fun <clears throat> Today Zara gave me permission to buy ammunition from Brownson. I don't think I want to but she said I should just in case But guns are really loud. I'd rather just run away than shoot one. We might not have a chance Still, I'm kind of proud. Zora said it was like a promotion for something. I found in the wilderness. I think it's a code for a door, but I'm not sure why it's important. I can't even get near the place without getting attacked. I asked her what a promotion is, and she smiled and in a really sad way and told me I shouldn't worry about it. <laughs> wow! You fucking idiot! This will be my last entry. Sorry, diary. You've been very good listener, but our time has come to an end. This terminal was making a horrible beeping noise yesterday, and someone smashed it while I was out, and now I can't save more diaries. Milton can fix it, plus he says I should stop coming into his house to write when he's not around. Whoever smashed poor terminal, if you're reading this, sucks sulfur. This also tells me that whoever was writing this diary... Uh, didn't really... I still, at heart, felt kind of alone. Lonely is not when you ha don't have people around you. Is that is when you when you feel lonely? Like okay, you can just on. be lonely in the crowd, you know. Lonely is bonding with people, and this guy maybe was eager to please, but it doesn't sound like he was uh, really bonding. He was sounds son, young and naive. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them. Which is something that I can't fault people for. Everybody here looks wore out. 
Is it just me? No, no, no. Something is off about this place. Expecting things for people from people who never learned it. But they're just they're just stupid. Like that guy not knowing what a promotion is. Like, well, we don't really know his backstory, but obviously he didn't know. That doesn't make him dumb. Still pulse hammer. So what are we dealing with here? It's someone's big house, and if I know these places, you're not gonna find the big boss in a tent. Okay, fuck. Okay, I'm a hypocrite. You can call me a hypocrite. I got a, like a captain's chamber, like a proper chamber, and everyone has like half, half as or maybe a third as big of a room. Fuck, I'm a hypocrite. But I don't know. But it's still not because of the house, and I don't care. I would be totally cool with uh, just a uh, chamber myself, you know. Not like I need a chamber to show off to my crew. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong about these people and we're gonna find the big boss uh, camping out in a camp. And uh, taking a dump behind it. And that's how he lives. I doubt it though. Wow. People sleep in their clothes. I probably don't have uh, spares. The fuck? I didn't particularly pay attention to this window before. I always assumed that... So this is just purely decorative. Or maybe... No. It makes no sense, or I was thinking that maybe these are uh, cells that... Uh, no, that, that makes no sense. Now you would have a sunroof, right? No, but I'm saying, fuck. I don't know, this, this makes no sense. This just gives the impression of a window and uses energy. And I, I guess I guess that's the whole point, just to make it look like a proper house, but uh, it's not, not even close. Why though? Yeah, I mean, when you when you come inside, no windows. The windows are only on the outside, and just feels like a such an odd design. I don't get it. A manta queen. Yeah. We fell to blind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. Maybe not they never show. I'm sure they're ah, let's talk to It seems we have company. <laughs> wow. Come on, don't make me read so much. The oppression must end. A man from Byzantium told us of an acquaintance who had been arrested for carrying uh, philosophist texts. Not teaching, not evangelizing, just carrying. They oppress any truth that threatens their corrupt structure. Is this what we want? Do we want to live in a society where we can be sent? To Tartarus, where our beliefs... No, their workers' minds are poisoned. They, Their will shackled. Their dreams hamstrung. This can stand no longer. We must tear this entire regime down. That's a lot harder than just trying to make it on your own. The dangers of corporate society. Wow. It's too long! It's just... I often recall my former friend who once sought to dismantle the corporations, as I still do. When he took ownership of uh, our corporation, I held him in such contempt. I call him a coward, a betrayer. 
He was becoming the very thing we hated. Now I'm not so sure. Recently, I've come to accept that his heart was more closed than mine. I cannot expect every man to be able to open himself to the eternal truth as I have. Some are just not capable. And so it is a tragic thing. Tragic that he's weaker than I hoped. That he cannot fight for a cause. I can empathize with tragedy. Should the day come when <clears throat> the metal of our spirits clash against one another, that empathy will shield me from guilt, like the board. How he, st how he stands across our path, arms cross crossed, uh, stubbornly resistant to the eternal truth. Like the board, he spreads, nay, celebrates the poison that cripples a society. Like the board, his, his stubbornness will only blind him to, the, to his inevitable f fall. Tragic. So this is all about Sanjar. It just seems like garbage. So this seems propaganda. So I'm not gonna keep reading it because I'm not gonna learn about these people. If I if this what I, I learned about Sanjar, if this is how I learned about Sanjar first, like I don't know. This is this is just not 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 how we learn about people. So let's just have a talk. Uh, they're gonna be a lot worse at bullshitting us face to face. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the iconoclasts. Yeah. What do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? I'm just looking for ways to help the people here. Anything need doing? Oh, he's gonna love that. Just tell me about your people. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs, all petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Yeah, but you're peddling uh, brainwashing and uh, big dreams, so... I just feel like your rage is gonna get people killed. From what I've seen, I have to agree, Anarchy would be better. As much as I'm um, pretty uh, chaotic leaning myself, I don't agree with Anarchy. Is this why the board has uh, cordoned off Monarch? I don't know if anarchy would be better. That, that, that's 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 the fact. You cannot objectively say that anarchy would be better, because there is no precedent for it. And even if there was, uh, I I, I think pre anarchy would be worse. Frankly, I don't know. I'm not sure. Might be. Might we'll see. I don't know. No, no, well, no, no, no. We'll not see. Who knows? It, we just can't say if Anarchy would be better. Ultimately, there are gotta be rules when it comes to dealing with, uh, you know, multiple people, like just a lot of people, and uh, not like rules are terrible. Like rules don't have to be like super stupid. <laughs> It can be just pretty lax, and I don't really agree that anarchy is the way, so... No. 
Like, for example, criminals, like, obviously. And, uh... I, I know that you don't like their way of life. And, sure, I can definitely get behind that, but... It's, it's different than, you know, if the Iconoclasts were about, you know, just uh, making it on their own, following their own somewhat naive rules, maybe even hoping for a better future. Cool, sure, why not? But they're uh, maybe violent. And most likely people will just gonna get hurt. We're just trying to uh, make it. It'd be, be, it would be dangerous to let Anarchy run a rampart. It's obviously not a long-term solution. Sometimes you do see that you know systems are overthrown and uh, you see a temporary anarchy. But if that's so, then you would be probably better off promoting that system. You, you should be promoting what you want instead. Instead of just like, fuck yeah, anarchy. I don't know. These are uh, very big questions. But anarchy is uh, clearly not good. This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. It is just that the board's structure is killing the colony. Ours will not. All right. Okay, we agree with that. So, what are your teachings? I don't really like the words teachings, but let's go with that. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? No, I, I really hate you phrasing it that way, because that way you're just saying that my the ultimate truth it just, it just, that way saying it, it just, it just uh, saying that, you're just saying that this is true and I'll teach you the truth. That's basically what it uh, sounds like. If I translate the words a little bit. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. Also, awakening, so like irrefutable truth is available. To all those minds who are ready to accept it. So basically, anyone who's not ready to accept it, anyone who does, doesn't agree with it, can go fuck themselves and stupid. What would you like to know? Uh, yeah, I, I just I just really don't like your choice of words here. I hear the words eternal thrown around a lot. What is this? So yeah, like uh, the choice of words matter a lot. I, I stumble around a little bit, but... Uh, what do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. Yeah, but he's just trying to make uh, the best uh, he can, and... Uh, no, I really don't like you. So Sanjo betrayed you, you turned to religion, and now here we are. I don't... I don't think he betrayed you. He's just trying to make his best. He's trying to uh, do right by the people, but his workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. I brushed with death. I don't believe any of this. Yeah, his workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. He's a realist. He's a realist. Sanjo Sanjar does, doesn't really... Well, he's, he's tried to play by the rules of the system. I, I'm actually more chaotic than Sanjar. I would be saying, like, you know, you should... You might want to consider making it on your own, but Sanjar knows that, you know, that, that doesn't work as well. And, you know, he's just trying to play 
with what he got. And yeah, I think he's making a lot of sense. You, just not so much. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. I hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. You basically said nothing. <sighs> Even Osai, are their members similarly divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Uh, do you believe in a creator? Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created oh. all living things. Right. I don't give a shit. Oh, man. You're not gonna win me over, Graham. You have me so far in the red. If anything, I'm already planning how to overthrow you. Yeah, yeah, but what started it off? Questions like these are distractions. It doesn't matter whether an entity sparked the universe or not. Only by pursuing the eternal truth will we find these and other answers. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna ask questions because I'm just gonna be driven insane by a circle logic of uh, non-answers. All right. Okay. Why have you come? I am... Um, I'm just looking for ways to leave. To help the people here. Anything they're doing. Like killing you. A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. I don't like it. So he's just trying to get support to push his agenda. <sighs> I see you through your shit, Graham, and your shit is dangerous. At least, at least, uh, I don't know, maybe that's unfair to say, but at least the company, the board, is not pretending to be anything else. They are... They are all about profit. And people know this. People know this, and that's it. They're all about profit, and people are very much familiar with this. They're not pretending to be anything more than that. But you are. A printing press on Monarch? Who would have built it? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. Such enthusiasm, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Will you aid us in our cause? I don't think so. Sure, let's do it. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. If I killed him now, I would make him a martyr. And most likely, people might even defend them 
they defend him to the death. So it's not great. My plan is to possibly discredit him and uh, either take over or make someone else take over. I don't know if disbanding is is the option. I think yes. Like if done right, can I really uh, have the? Do I really have the right to discourage uh, a movement trying to overthrow the board and uh, the greed of the companies? I mean, it does seem like a good thing, but not like this. Huxley, the runner from the Northern Ruins, I help her get out of there. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so tone-deaf. Uh, where's the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Right. MSI supplies you. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Mm. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes. Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Okay. Uh, Zora? What? So Zora is okay. not really giving me, yeah, any information. Which is a bit of a bummer, because I would like to hear about this colony from multiple people, other than the leader. <sighs> I entered that house, I believe. Yeah, I certainly did, no? Yeah, this is where we read the diary. Okay, just explore a little bit. Box around the place, just in case I decide to kill everybody. They can take cover. <laughs> Alright, Hawksley, let's talk. <clears throat> oh, hello. Good to see you again. I found your terminal. I fixed it up for you. Oh, you're the one who's... So she's not 100% on board with the uh, iconic whatever these are. This group is. What? Oh, in Milton's place? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. You made it back. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. But the thing is Huxley. You were sent away for supplies, and if I wasn't there, you didn't get lucky, you would be dead. How are you holding up? Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. I'm not sure. Uh, they're gonna be 100% on board with that. We had the kicking, I assume. How did you hurt your leg? Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up but good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one! How long will you be out of commission? Till it stops hurting, I guess. 
Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Maybe that the kicking, I assume. No, no kicking. Huh? Why? Your leg. Oh, ha! You're funny. <laughs> All right. Yeah. If they send her out with her... Well, she doesn't need to be super injured. If she's like a little slower than she was. I think okay. she just gets lucky all the time. Wait, when did that happen? That happened when I busted her out? After I busted her out? Or before? Because if before, then they already sent her on a mission uh, with an injury. She will bring... Tucker need him. And we're stalking, and we're stalking. Oh, he left. Uh, let's check this out. <clears throat> Steam coming out of the roof. Remotely reroute the water. Pipes on top of my house are gonna burst. They are leaking steam. Someone's ought to fix this before they explode or steam hurts somebody. Fixed. Uh, arcing electricity at the bar. Remotely shut off the power going through the bar side panels. Uh, I think I have decent science. So, if I do some mind boosting drink, it's gonna put my science up to 55, which allows me to science this shit. Hack 55, remotely reset. The rep's house. Communications breaker. <laughs> Remotely shut off the power going through the bar's side panels. Wow. Dear diary. Erase work order. Haha, <laughs> Zura. Haha, uh -huh. hey Zura. I figured out how to add work orders. Erase. Engage remote force door lever operational. Okay, everything is fixed now. You guys are welcome. What about this guy? Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I did all your work in two minutes. I'm Captain Light. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I'm a little surprised that you did. Tucker, are you Agnes's little boy from Shel Stellar Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Bro. This is not the time to rebel against your mama. She made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. Uh, she's offered a reward to anyone who brings you back to Stella Bay. Ah uh, yeah, you, you're in danger, right? According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown up. Exactly. It could be tough. 
I don't think it's gonna work. But at least you're not gonna be with the, these uh, naive rebels. Who are gonna get themselves killed. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Hard to say. Ultimately, why do you care? Like, okay. She's your mom. But you can be your own man without becoming a, a stupid rebel. That's what I'm saying. You survived outside the Stellar Bay for weeks. Show her the skills you learn. I don't think you need to impress your mom. Teach her the iconoclast philosophies. Convert her so she might join you in freedom. Uh, I think the second one is most more likely to work. But it's just a bad advice. <clears throat> it does seem like he is somewhat interested in uh, proving herself uh, to her mom, but also mainly fucking sick of uh, her mom's uh, rightfully, actually just uh, clearly annoying and overprotective tendencies. And um, yeah, he's, he's right. And he's trying to uh, just stand for what he believes. I, I can't super fault him for that. But unfortunately, the leader kind of takes advantage of that. You survived outside Stato Bay for Peaks. Show her the skills you learned. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. She can control you. Only you are the one who can give her control. It's not possible for her to control you. Alright. At least you're gonna be safe. Hopefully. Not here. <laughs> oh yeah, let's be a dick to people. This is the bar. Mm, what we have here? Oh, clean and boil. Brains. Oh, Raptodon brains? I'll, I'll, I'll skipping that. Uh, I'm not planning on eating those. I suppose parenting is a hard thing to get right, you know? You gotta balance uh, protecting and uh, preparing. And... Uh, I think it's easy to say. Uh, when it comes to like, maybe like, very great people that, you know, preparing is the way to go, clearly. And I agree with that, but, uh, uh, and, but like, protective is, it just feels like playing it safe. And, um, and of course, like, uh, sometimes just people break, and, and people tend to think, you know, there's like an old saying, what doesn't break you, it makes you stronger. But things can break you. Not necessarily like break you for good, but like things can, can screw you up. And uh, you, some experiences really should have like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna live that just to be stronger. But no, you can get seriously fucked up. So, uh, <clears throat> acting in a sensible way is, is definitely justified. Of course, in this modern world, uh, it's usually not as extreme. But like, you know, like imagine if you were like living like two thousand years ago or like five thousand years ago, you know, and you're like a thrill seeker. 
you would be dead in a week at most. Super dead. You gotta play it safe. As safe as possible. What are we doing here? I don't... Ooh. What I'm hoping for is not... We're not just not gonna uh, going. get money. But maybe some way to overthrow the leadership. Sublight ID cartridge. Verities, breath, inhalant. Oh. That's just a regular stuff. It seems pretty specific. That I assault rifle. I'm on my way. Alright. We're heading downstairs. We had enough. I can shut down the power in the end. Oh fuck, that's not what I wanted. You guys don't care? <laughs> Nobody cares! The power is off! Now you bastard. I thought it was gonna be like some reaction. So, there's no one in this town other than Huxley, who I saved, and no one can be talked to. Which is a bit of a bummer. And they gave me a quest. Get to the printing press. From Carlotta. And Carlotta gets uh, mentioned quite a bit. Wait, what? Amber Heights. This is where we are. Boys... Uh, Bayside Terrace warehouse. We might just use some fast traveling just to cut down on the, the that time. Uh, why not? I think. I don't think it adds much of a challenge. Uh, the mod that I installed adds fast traveling and uh, and saving to the game. What job did the board decide <clears> you when you came? Saving to just was and just was totally mandatory. Fast traveling, uh, I wasn't really looking for that. It was just it just came with the mod. It was a pretty popular mod. Uh, we might use it uh, just to save some time. But actually, it doesn't really matter. We can just go there. But it would take us like three minutes. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.